welcome to my January 2023 Sanders League IPA match video. I am Mallory Hughes. This is our club's first IDPA match of the year, and it's a beautiful day. Got it was a little cold in the beginning and turned out to be just about perfect. First stage simulates sitting in a car and engaging a bunch of targets through the left window and directly ahead of you. All the targets are considered in the open. And on this stage, all the targets, except the mover, get two to the body, one to the head, and the mover needs three. So you'll see me start here, and since everything's in the open, you have to go near to far. So that first array is the closest, and you engage this one up to the right, and I run dry. Pick up the head shot, and then I have brain lock and can't remember where to see the last target. I knew, oh, there it goes. And I... Trigger press felt wrong, so I ended up making up a shot there. And before I started hunting for that target is when I activated the swinger. Uh, and that turned out to be pretty good because it slows down enough that you could see it, but it, it didn't slow down so much that the no-shoot was totally obscuring it. So that worked out pretty well for me. This stage, I came in 10th, uh, which is about middle of the pack for my results for the day. And it was just down one point, so it was, uh, it was a pretty good stage. Then it was off to stage five. Stage five was a hallway kind of stage. You start engaging some targets in the open, then kind of retreat backwards slightly, slice the pie around a couple corners, and go to low low cover for a last target. I kind of like that stage. The stage it was the low cover at the end was was very challenging, good. And this pit is always, in the winter, is hard to see in the morning, so. Engage those first two, then one tough one there. I threw an extra round at it to get my mag change time just right here. And engage these two into the sunlight. And drop down to a knee and engage one underneath the barrel with some hard cover on the, on the bottom. This was a, a very fun stage. Uh, ended up being down three. I came in ninth overall on the stage, and about middle of the pack. I, it felt okay. I probably could have hustled a little better, and also I could have timed my mag changes slightly better, take advantage of the IDPA rules for not going to uh, slide lock. Then it was off to stage one. Stage one was my best stage of the day, and. It's another kind of hallway slicing stage with uh, with a little bit of a run down to the down the pit. This is our biggest pit, so I like to encourage movement. Start hands touching the barrels and slice the pie. These are two 15, 20 yard shots with a no shoot, so you take your time on those. And you come out in the open here, engage the open and near to far, so you engage the paper first. Slice the pie here, and I managed to do the mag change correctly with new IDPA rules there. Threw another shot at that target and hustled my butt down, engage that one in the open, and then do a hard lean and a triple tap on that one. So that one came in third uh, with a little bit of hustle and I was down four points, so not, not too bad. And I uh, tagged the steel pretty good. Here we are going around checking targets. Um, I forget where my down points down were but three of these three or four of these shots were pretty far for IDPA so it, it uh, behooves you to take a little extra time and I'm running a Glock 19 in CCP okay, I forgot to mention that at the beginning then it was off to stage two stage two is my worst stage of the day um, mostly because I managed to tag a no shoot and I think I was a little slow. This one you started behind the table holding the box. And you have to engage, it's in your open, near to far, so it's the two paper targets. Then the steel. Then you engage steel and it's up and over. And I think I did, I think I did okay on the up and over there. This is a little different wrinkle too. You had to push a no shoot out of the way of the port engage these targets and the issue here is the uh, on the first array 
I felt the trigger pull was a little, I pushed it a little bit to the left and, and I ended up tagging a no shoot. And I'll show you something important here in a second. Uh, you have to have a little bit of uh, integrity because the SO, that's the no shoot I hit on the right corner where all the other pasters are. And I noticed it, pointed it out to, and then you kind of have to, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So you gotta let them know that uh, missed the missed no shoot there. So you gotta, gotta take the lumps. Stage three was the last stage of the day. Oh, that was my worst stage, it came in 13th. Then I was off to stage three. This was a really weird stage. I think they tried something new and apparently some of the other squads messed up the how, how they ran it, just based off range. Gauge these targets in the open and engage this one through a port. Through the window and there's one off to the right and you've already engaged the other two you can see there. I timed my magazine change wrong again. Then you get to run way out in the open and engage the last two. The I think what happened was some people just ran by the ports and engaged them all in the open or something goofy like that. The, the, somehow the stage descriptions kind of got hosed up between squads and it was a little kind of a different stage. Um, I ended up coming in uh, ninth on that stage, so about like the middle of the pack. And I, I think I ran it the way you're supposed to, they wanted you to run it. So, and off to the stage summary here. Uh, as you can see, I came in third, thirteenth, ninth, tenth, and ninth. Uh, hit one, one no shoot, um, and I was down. Uh, forget the total. They'll show up on the next screen, but uh, pretty, pretty consistent except for the knocking out of the park on stage one. Uh, came in seventh overall out of forty-nine shooters. Uh, I was on fifteen for the whole day, which is about middle of the pack, as you can see. And that was a really good result for me. I don't know if some of the better shooters didn't show up or if I just had a good day. And for CCP, I came in first out of 14th. There's a lot of people shooting CCP today because it was getting ready for the Chesapeake Cup next month, which is a CCP specific match, which is exactly what I was doing. And shout out to Squad 4, had a great day. Uh, friends with everybody on the squad and it was it was a blast everybody helped out and caught a lot of video for the day and thanks to JJ and Mike for putting on the match lots of fun and as always thanks to Merrily Gus and Sprinkles for all their help I really couldn't do without them I'll see everybody at the Chesapeake Cup or the Sanders Lake two-gun match in February see ya